Can just reading the Bible teach you about the biblical Jesus? Next on the Ex-Mormon Files. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Ex-Mormon Files. I'm your host, Bishop Earl, and I appreciate you joining us. And today we have Carmen Hayes, who's come all the way from CUNA, yes. Idaho, mm -hmm. which is near Boise. And we appreciate you so much. We're Thank going to meet you. your husband next time. Mm -hmm. But we get to interview and talk to you first and hear a little bit about your story. And then he can kind of clarify everything after we've yeah. talked, okay. right? <laughs> Anyway, so I appreciate you coming, and uh, well, thank you for you, having me here. We yeah. always start kind of where were you born and where were you raised? Okay, uh, I was born and raised in California. Okay, northern, uh, southern, Fresno, Fresno, California. Fresno, okay. Yes, um, I lived there until I got married. In, oh, is that where you met Russell? In California. In California, yeah, he was on his mission. Oh, well, he was, you met him while he was on his mission? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's an interesting story. So did he come, where was he from at that point? Uh, he had left Maine from, to go on his mission. Okay. Uh, to California, you know, we met as missionaries, meet, meet everybody. Now, you, you weren't on a mission. Nope. No, no you no, were no. at home, okay. And so yeah. does he go back home? He goes back home, and then uh, he said he didn't, he didn't feel at home anymore there, I guess, and he wanted to go back and, uh, to California. He... And look up Carmen. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you start dating right away? And... Um, he said, because when he was on his mission there, I was engaged. Oh, you were to someone else? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> so while he left back home and all that and, and came back, I was already, uh, we had broken Broken up, so, huh? okay. Yeah, and then uh, he came. He's. I wasn't at home anymore. I was. I had moved away, but he went to my house, to my family's house, uh, and uh, he asked my older sister, whom I lived with, uh, where I was. Where's and, Carmen? <laughs> <laughs> and they told him. So he looked me up and found me, and then uh, started dating. Yes. And, well, neat. Now, were you your family? Were they members of the church? Um, we all joined together. Oh, you uh, did? Mm -hmm. Your mom and dad? And no, my mom and dad uh, had already passed away. Uh, probably oh. I was 12. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's when I'm sorry. our that's... older sister took us in. Oh, I see. And then later on, uh, when I was 17, the missionaries came knocking on our door. And converted the whole family? Just about, yeah. Really? Okay. What did you think of that message that, from the missionaries? Oh, um, it was beautiful, you know. I mean, they said the right things. They had, they, they showed us the right pictures, everything. <laughs> Especially what got our attention. I guess that gets everybody's attention is uh, having your family together forever, you know. And that only happens in the temples. You yeah. Know? In the Mormon That's temples. That's kind of a big sales part of their program, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so it, it was beautiful. Who doesn't want to have their families <laughs> forever, you know? Right. Uh, I mean, so did you, had you read, did you start reading the Book of Mormon? Um, we started reading the Book of Mormon as the missionaries were teaching us and, yeah. you know. And what did you think of that? We, uh, I mean, I thought, wow, you know, another testament. Of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah. He has more to say to us. You know, so, <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. It, it is was, an interesting, compelling message, isn't it? I mean. I was a missionary, and uh, that's, that's the message we tried to give, that God loves us just as much as he used to love people with yes, prophets and I mean, all that. Uh, but he loves us just the same as he did those people back then. Now, why wouldn't we have a living prophet today, yeah. you know? So, wow. Interesting <laughs> message, huh? Mm -hmm. So you and Russell get married in the temple. Which mm -hmm. temple did you get married in? Oakland, you in Oakland, in California. Okay, and then you kept living there? Um, right after we were married, no, we left. Um, we were married, and then uh, the second day we packed up our stuff and we left back uh, east. We went to West Virginia. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. And you stayed there? How long were you there? Probably two years. So. Okay. We moved around after we got married. We moved around quite a bit. <laughs> oh. So. Uh, just with work or, or something? Uh -huh. 
Um, and then did you, uh, did you, were you still active in the church all this time? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was full, I mean, I was right into the church. I mean, <laughs> nothing could get me out. Yeah. I mean, not even, the members are great and all, you know, but you do find a few that offend you, they hurt you, they say things, you know. Well, there was quite a bit of that, you know, and really? I thought, I'm not going to let them keep me from coming to church, you know, because right. this is the true church, this is the church, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the true church, just the people aren't the best. Yes. Uh, always. But, yeah. But usually they're, they're pretty good people. I mean, yeah. they're, they're nice people. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I was pretty much very strong in the church. Uh, callings, did you? Callings in the, you? with the young women uh, in Religious Society, um, the primary. primary. <laughs> Yeah. Normal callings for a sister, I guess, to do all those. And, mm -hmm. and there's, I know you were, and you started having children. Mm -hmm. You ended up having how many? Six. Six children. Yeah. You want to say it how your husband says it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my husband loved, well, you know what? Maybe I'll let him Maybe say let it. Let <laughs> him say that. Okay, we'll get him next time on yeah. that one. Um, but you're busy mom mm -hmm. and callings. And no, never question. The church just was. It never was just question. True. No, um, but I got to say this. So when we joined the church, um, and we learned later on about Joseph Smith and Brigham Young and all the wives they had and all this, and they told us, you know, there's a reason for that. They said, you know, and we thought, I mean, well, I, I guess I, we can accept. That. I mean, um, but yet. Deep in, deep in there, <laughs> I knew it was wrong, but I thought, well, if God said it, it must be okay, you know. But still, there was that nagging in there, you know. It, it, I, so I, I couldn't accept it. Quite right. But I never said anything, you know. I never, I couldn't accept that God would allow something like that, you know. I go, I, I, I can't. I, <laughs> but I didn't say anything, you know. I, I just left it alone. Seems like we do that with a lot of things in the church, you know, just something, something isn't quite right, but. Yeah, but if God said it, yeah, it must be it okay. <laughs> and, and you went, like we said, you went through the Oakland Temple. Did you go through temples quite a bit? I mean, did you, were you pretty active in going to temples? As and, much as we could, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I was, I was even th when my husband couldn't make it, I mean, I was there. You would go. Yeah. What's the closest one back then in, when, in West Virginia, would it be the Washington? Oh. It would be, temple. Um, it was, but I think we didn't go as much back then because it was sure, pretty far. Pretty far, yeah. yeah. But any questions ever come up about the temple itself that you um, going to the temple? I mean, going, those kinds of not, not, really. not back then. Now, now I do. You know, <laughs> now I see all these changes that taken. You know, in the yeah. temple, and I thought. I even asked um, my ex, uh, the, the, um, our bishop at one time, why all the changes, you know, what's going on? I said, I thought, you know, because in Jesus Christ in the Bible says, my word, you know, it's, it's true today, tomorrow, forever, you know, it's always the same. Yeah, you know, never it will never change. Yeah. But yet all these things, are if it's true, if this is a true church, this is this temple, why are they changing things? You know, I, I couldn't understand that. I always kind of thought in my own mind that we had to make sure that the angels knew when we went through the temple, just to make sure that they knew what questions to ask us. Because if we went before 1990 or some other time, they'd have to ask, if they asked us the wrong questions, we wouldn't have the right answer, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to make sure we had an angel that knew when we went through or something. Yeah. So but, you're just active and busy and the kids are raising and... Uh, yeah, very strong. Our kids are, yeah, they, very obedient kids. Yeah. <laughs> we never had a problem with them. You did your family home evenings. And, oh, yeah. 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 Read so. the Book of Mormon together, probably. And yep. Did and you ever read the Bible together? No. 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 Um, once in a while, they would, uh, in church, they would give us, in class, they would give us uh, just a little scripture here and there, you yeah. know. In the lessons. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we just kind of read those, and that's about. And, and it really wasn't, you know, explained to us, you know. Really, you know, if we didn't understand something, it was 
Oh, you know, don't worry about it right now. <laughs> it will all be explained next in the next yeah, live. It all. Millennium or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So how long did this go on? How long were you active? And Oh, uh, up until a year and a half. A year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And you were active that whole, whole I time? I was active, very, very much active, yeah. I mean, we uh, took our kids every Sunday, you know, took them to their activities. Um, yeah, everything, just. Um, there was time once in a while when our kids would have problems in church with someone, you know. Yeah. And I had to go, and I would go there, and i talk to them, you know, to the sister or the whoever offended them, whoever hurt them. I said, you know what? This is not right. You are not to tell my kids. <laughs> if you have any problem with them, you let me know, yeah. and I will take care of it, you know. Yeah. But don't you. Yeah. <laughs> but the yeah. church is true. Huh? Yes, yeah. but the church is true, yes. <laughs> yes, very So what much. happened kind of to make things have a different perspective? Um, okay, so my husband, <laughs> he started, um, well, he found out things, you know, here and there about the church. It didn't, just didn't seem right, you know. So he would, look, the more he would look, the more he'd find, okay, well, wow, you know. And so he, and he would want to share that with me, you know. Yeah. And I said, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> he said, well, don't you want to know what Joseph Smith said here or did here? Or don't you want to know? And I said, no. That's and, hard, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And so little by little, I see when he, he finally asked me, how do you feel if I left the Mormon church? <laughs> wow. I go, how do I feel? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I just said, well, you know, you're a grown man, you know, <laughs> hopefully you know what you're doing. Uh, what did you think about your temple marriage, though? Um, and of being a family together forever, like you were saying. Well, one thing that I found out, and that is uh, that I never knew before, because I didn't see it before, you know, what they say in the temple. And, but I said, I, I never said anything at times, you know? Yeah. I thought, okay. Uh -huh. You know that film that they show? Sure. At the last part of it where Satan says, he turns around to the odd people to and says, audience. that if they don't keep every promise, every covenant they've made in this temple this day, they it are in my power. My power. <gasps> my power. I thought, oh my gosh, we are in his power. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in his power. But... That, so I just kind of left it, you know, but, <laughs> so he ended up going out of the, you know, leaving the church. And, and how long ago was that? For him, it's two years. Two years, okay. And then uh, our kid was so, so upset, so hurt. All, all of the children, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah. Did you still have children at home, or were they all uh, grown? Uh, they were all grown, except for, no, we still have one, one that's the home. youngest. Yeah. Um, and they were pretty upset. Very much How so. did he approach them? What did he say? Or be, He'll probably tell us this. Yeah. But. Um, he tried a few times telling them, talking to them like he did with me. You yeah. Know? But it just did not work, you know. And so my kids would talk to him and say, well, he, he, well they told him first that <laughs> you've broken our family. <laughs> you know? That's hard, isn't it? Because we put so much faith into that and, and, eff and effort. And it wasn't. Excuse me. No, you're fine. Anyway, so that that really hit me. Stitches here. The kids were so upset. Huh? When. So when I heard them say that you're broken, <laughs> wow, didn't I, I never thought of that, you know? I thought, okay, so, so there I was in between them, you know? <laughs> yeah. My kids, <laughs> my husband, you know, they're talking to me, you know? <sighs> I'm sure the kids talk to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I said, are you going to let them do this, you know? what? <laughs> uh, 
But I remember one time, one of them said one time, oh, God will have someone else for you, you know? <laughs> oh, no. But, and so I, I didn't think, I know they wanted us to separate, you know? I go, ah. And I thought, well, that is not in me. I'm not, you know? So, uh, as he continued to talk to me about, you know, oh, this, you gotta, you know, and finally I said, you know what, um, don't talk to me anymore about that. I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> I've had <laughs> and, enough. <laughs> yeah, if I ever leave the Mormon church, it's going to be because I found out myself that the yeah. Mormon church was not true. Not because you're telling me or no. anyone else. And, and one day he said, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to wait for God to come tell you himself? I said, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Yes, I am. And so I finally uh, said, you know what? I, I'm just going to uh, take the Bible for the first time and read it. You are. Mm -hmm. You're going to read it. Yeah. So night after night, day after day, you know, I, I'd go in this, our spare room. i take the Bible. i take the Book of Mormon and all my scripture. And comparing them. This you know? is her Bible, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and comparing them, you know, and so, and, um, at, and before I, I did start reading the Bible, I was going through my phone one day looking for something, and uh, you know who Lynn Wilder is? Yes. She was on there, you know. I've never heard of her, I've never, I didn't know who she was, but it said how she left or oh, why she left the Mormon church, you know? And we were always told to stay away from anti-stuff, don't listen to the, don't listen, don't sure. listen, you know? And so I was, I was looking at it and I go, should I listen to, should I hear, you know? I thought, there was something there telling, so I go, okay, I'll, I'll just see why she left, you know, maybe, you know, what they did to her. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I clicked on that and she started talking. And what I liked about it was she did not, Bash the Mormon. She wasn't. She didn't say anything bad about the Mormon, you know, yeah. members. And she just talked about her son being the mission and how he wrote to them for them to read the Bible and read a certain scripture right. about grace, <laughs> you know. And so she gave the scripture grace. So that started me to read to find out grace. Okay. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> we don't yeah. talk about that much and, in Mormonism, um, do we? And. Um, and one of the things that his, her son says, as you probably heard, you know, he says, you know, when you read the Bible, read it as a child. Yeah. I thought, okay. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. So when I started reading the Bible, you know, and I, I looked up that scripture, grace, you know, you're saved by grace. Yeah. Period. And I thought, I've never heard saved by grace, period. It's always been you are saved by grace after all you can do. Yeah, it works. Know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I thought, okay, so I did. I read it and saved by grace. And then um, as I continue reading, there's one where someone comes to Christ and says, um, you know, they've, they've done all this work in his name. They've uh, you know, they cast evil spirits in yeah, his name. Prophesy and everything. You know, everything yeah. in his name, you know. And, the, and Christ says, I never knew you, you know. And I thought, wow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that everything that we're doing here in the Mormon church, all our works, it's filthy rags, you know. Yeah. It means nothing to him. Yeah. So uh, all he was asking that we believe in him you know, and come to a, a, a relationship with him and just, and yeah, and, <laughs> and, I, and at first I had a hard time with it, you know, it was talking to my husband about it. I said, no, no, I said, there's got to be more, there's got to be something we need we, to do, yeah. you know. And he would say, no, just look at here, you know, it says, you know, your work's going to be like filthy rag. You take all your works to him and you offer it to him. What is he going <laughs> to No, you know, he needs nothing he's from us. He's already done it. Yeah. yeah, and he's done it all on the cross, you yeah. know. 
So you were actually in bed one night. Yes. Reading the Bible. I was. And tell uh, us about that. <laughs> I was reading the Bible uh, when I next to him, and um, and I said, oh, I said, you know what? The the Jesus in the Bible is nothing like. It's not the same as in the Book of Mormon. <laughs> They're not the same Jesus. <laughs> uh, as Mormonism, for sure. Yes, you know. yes. Now, we've actually come up with a couple of quotes, by, or at least one quote, I guess, from President Hinckley. Would you like to read that? It's yes. on the screen here. Okay. Um, Can you read that? Mm -hmm. See that far? He says, as a church, we have critics. Many of them, they say we do not believe in the traditional Christ of Christianity. There is some substance to what they say. Yeah, and that's President Hinckley. Were we going to read the other one, too? Uh, we had another one, or we weren't? Probably later on. Uh, oh, no, I meant the other Oh, oh the other quote Hinkley. from him? Yeah, should we read that one? Uh, sure. Okay, go that. ahead. In bearing testimony of Jesus Christ, President Hinckley spoke of those outside the church who say Latter-day Saints do not believe in the traditional Christ. No, I don't. The traditional Christ of whom they speak is not the Christ of whom... I speak. Yeah, and you so, didn't read that before you were reading the Bible, but <laughs> yeah. Well, that, I'm I'm really impressed that you would come up with that conclusion that Jesus was different. The Bible, the biblical Jesus, very much is different than the Jesus of Mormonism. Yes, I, I never knew. I always well, first of all, I always thought I knew Jesus Christ. I thought I knew him. I did too. Yeah. And when I read the Bible for the first time, I thought, wow. Well, this is a new Jesus I never heard. I never knew. He's much bigger. He's more loving. He's more... He's God. <laughs> he is. And yeah. And that's another thing I learned, that Jesus Christ is not our older brother. Now, you went and talked to the bishop about something, right? And you talked to him and then... Yes. Um, I went to our bishop and I talked to him about... Um, I think one of the things was... Um, some of the changes that's been taking place and why. Yeah. Um, and I, de I ended up showing him this video on, on my phone. And I said, what is it all about, you know? And he never seen it before. He never heard it before. I said, he says, I don't know, but if you don't mind talking to the stake president, maybe he can answer it for you. So you go to the stake president after, okay. Mm -hmm. What did he so I go to the stake president, and I, as I'm talking to him and telling him all this, and he says, that's because Jesus Christ is here. And he actually did this. Jesus Christ is here, Joseph Smith is here, and they both, some, like he was comparing the, the same, you know. He, he Jesus called. Christ gave Joseph Smith the authority, the, authority, the right to... Um, uh, bring people, or I forget, it's that call from... Yeah, I think we have that from yes. President, from Brigham Young. Yes. Do uh -huh. we have that other quote? Yeah, that's the one, that no man or woman from this dispensation will ever enter into the celestial kingdom of God without the consent of Joseph Smith. Okay. <laughs> so the state president does this mm -hmm. and, has, and compares the two. Mm -hmm. Now... I knew when he did that, uh, right then, I said, no. <laughs> you did, to no, him. <laughs> no, this is not right, this is, you know, and so he had me go home and look up a few things, you know, and which I did, which led me to other things, which led me to other things, I go, okay, <laughs> you know, uh, I, um, I don't need uh, any, uh, Handshakes or uh, rituals from the temples uh, to get me back to God. It's just God Himself who's going to help me get back. You know. A personal relationship with with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you have kind of a born again moment, or was that that time in in bed or something that you'd said? Yes. Uh, it was. Uh, I mean, actually, a lot of things, you know, especially <laughs> the scriptures in here, where Christ is, talks so much, 
uh, also, he mentions a lot about the cross. If you, if you want to be my follower, you know, he was talking to his disciples and stuff, carry your cross or, you yeah. know, and he is also talking to us about that, you know. And we, Paul talks about the cross and how important it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, follow, pick up your cross and follow me, you know. And the cross didn't mean much to us as Mormons, did it? No, no. we never talked about it, you know. And, and uh, in fact, I mean, the cross is very offensive. Yeah. To them, you know. It is. We we can't. I mean, yeah, it's. Almost can't bear looking at it. <laughs> I know the first time I went into a church that had a cross on it, my heart was beating. And I was, oh, this is this is awkward. Yeah. 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 So. Well, there's only a couple of minutes left, Carmen. This has gone quickly. Mm -hmm. What I know you want to share with your family what you what your journey is, and of course you've done a lot of that. But you want to take a minute and, and say what you want to to your family and. Oh yes. Um, that it's my prayer, and I and I pray to God and ask Him. To be patient. <laughs> he is very patient. Yeah. God is very patient. To be patient with our kids, to give them a chance to, uh, for us to um, help them come to Him, you know, to the real Jesus in the Bible. Yeah. Um, and that, that is my prayer to them. That I hope, I pray that, that they will, you know, that they'll have a trust in this Jesus of the Bible. That that he did all the work, right? And yes, I mean it's his righteousness, not ours. That's right. You know, yeah. it's um, I don't know. It's, I since I've left Mormonism and now I and I don't do all these works that were weighing me down before, and I would never make it back to heaven. <laughs> and I told my bishop that said, I, I'm never going to make it back. <laughs> I try, but I just, I'm not going to make it. Yeah, no. And he said, no, don't worry about it. Whatever you don't do, Christ would do the rest. Yeah, and, pick up the pieces. and I thought, no, no, he's, he's already done it all. Yeah. You know? Don't you feel a great freedom then? Very much, very yeah. much. Yeah. It's just me and Jesus Christ. I mean, me and God, to, you know, just, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think there was a real pride in being a Mormon and feeling like we were special. Yes, yes. And, and then judging other people who didn't measure up and weren't as active and yeah. couldn't keep the commandments or had problems. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, and a lot of times, you know, those who, who know that we came out, especially with my husband, when he first came out, oh, he's just coming out because he can't live up to the church or yeah. he's done something wrong, you know. Yeah. But uh, they've never asked us. Our kids have never asked us why, why did you leave, you know? Because I know if it was one of our kids that left the church before we did, I would have found asked. Out, found uh, out why. Yeah, well, why, you know? But none of your six kids have come and asked? No. no. Uh, that has been the biggest shock to me, was that people wouldn't come and say, and I'd been a bishop, wouldn't come to me and, what did you learn? You know, what, what did you find out? No, yeah. Not too many have done that to you. No. No. <laughs> no, no. I just had one, but she wasn't a family member, but yeah. I've had a few. Um, yeah. Well, Carmen, I really appreciate it. Any, any last thoughts? Any other, Anything else you want to say? Oh, I love my Jesus in the Bible. <laughs> well, and I hope our kids will come. And, and when they do read it, I pray, too, that they, too, will read it as a child. As a child. It, it makes a big difference. Yeah. A big difference, and and now my husband and I, you know, we have these cards that we pass oh, out. Yes, you're in an LDS outreach ministry. Yes, and that's helping, our calling. Helping former members mm -hmm. come to uh, come to the to be to, able to make that transition. Yeah, and we passed out quite a, a few, you know, and yeah. uh, wrote out wrote in the back. It has our favorite scripture. Yeah. You know, for by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But <laughs> and don't <that>. we boast. <laughs> I've been to the temple. I'm doing what I need to. And I'm yeah, going to be in the celestial kingdom. I pay my time so I can go to the temple. We have to pay our way to go. Yeah. You know, and 
Well, Carmen, you're, yeah. you're just as sweet as you can be, and I'm so proud of you. It's tough, and I hope your family will take this opportunity to... Uh, I mean, we're asking them to read one of their standard works. It's mm -hmm. not like it's a brand new book we're trying to get them to read. We no, want them to read I, the Bible. I mean, because I love my kids to death, you know? Yeah. I would do anything for them, as I always have, but the only thing I wouldn't do is give, the true Jesus, give up the true Jesus in the Bible. I yeah. wouldn't give up my Jesus. Right? <laughs> and, yeah. Um, and it's worth it. Yes. Thanks, Carmen. <laughs> Appreciate it. We'll see you next time on the Ex-Mormon Files.